<laughs> oh. Right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and I'll get started. What? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Uh. Um, trying to deprive me of my bow. Oh, damn it, Serana. My God. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh. Um, that's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. Oh, they have a fire. I can do some cooking. Un oh, shoot. Uh, Whoa! Ah! <laughs> uh. Wow! Ancestors, the humankind Odyssey, tasks you with guiding the evolution of our own distant ancestors. Here, I'm coming up on a venomous snake, which can be intimidated away if our proto-human is brave enough to challenge it. Here's the encounter. And I have miserably failed to intimidate the snake away. So that's going to be some venom that's going to take a while to wear off. Unless maybe he's smart enough to figure out how to get it cured early. Let's turn that on. Whoa! That was awfully close by. <laughs> wow! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um I <laughs> Well crap
face. Ah, there you are. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's gonna make the ship go faster, right? want to eat, they will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep. No, I think we're going to go with Galaxy, unless Defiant is... Actually, Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the Galaxy, though. That looks good to me. Okay. Uh, um. Oh, shit. Shit. Whoops. <laughs> oh no. Now watch the disc. No, watch the. No, watch. No. Okay. Clearly there were some areas they had... <laughs> Clearly there were some areas they have not invested a lot of work in improving. <laughs> Now, it's a little bit convoluted, but traffic can come down here and circle around and get off here, and they can go anywhere in the city, because they can go this way, they can go that way, they can go which way, whichever way they want, and they can cross over on the bridges. It's not the most elegant interchange. That would save a lot of space, but I like this design. You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. Really? None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Am I being attacked by chickens?
they've lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. Hey, Teo, got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? <gasps> Spider-Man! Oh! <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh. He almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. <clears throat> oh. Good work, other Spider-Man. Thanks. Yeah. Of course. Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> what is? Studious, what is? Studious, what is? Sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. <laughs> How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider-Man 1, Robbers 0. That, that was a little eerie. That worked better than I thought. Okay. Let's take out the mind player. I'll help however I can. Don't hunt Loki. Oh my god, she. She hunted Locust and killed her. Oh my god, Uthgard, what the heck? What on earth is wrong with her? This is kind of hilarious. Whoa, that was a shot and a half. What? What happened there? You for a little while. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. I apologize for the lights late start i blame marvel um maybe me too a little bit but mostly marvel how's everyone doing we're going to be playing some jurassic world evolution 2 tonight it's been uh, it's been a bit sorry trying to get my brace on i have been missing working on the dino parks 
And I don't remember how far we got in Jurassic World itself. So it's going to be a bit of an adventure getting back into it. There we go. Okay. I think I'm ready. Finally. Uh, okay. How's everyone doing? I hope you've all had a fantastic start to your weekend. It is... Wait. What day is it? Oh, uh, yeah, it's Saturday. The weekend's half over. I hope you've had a good start. Also, there we go. Just getting around to relaxing, that's always a good thing to get around to. I am very glad to hear that. Okay. Where is Jurassic World? There it is. I'm so organized tonight. The amount of info coming out of San Diego Comic-Con is just nuts. There's been so much stuff about Star Trek and the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Cheers Cinematic Universe and so much stuff. Here we go. Alan, how's it going? Welcome back. I do have to admit, all of the news has been really, really awesome, but I think we're reaching the point in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that I'm no longer recognizing the vast majority of the stuff that they're doing. I'm excited for a few things like Loki Season 2, the Marvels, the new Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, let's see, Black Panther 2 looks like it's going to be really good. The new Iron Man, or not Iron Man, the new uh, Captain America. A few things like that, but then they've got like 5 million other things that I've never heard of. And, I don't know, it's just, ooh, it's so much to try to keep up with. We want, oh, actually, we want to load a game is what we want to do, or but even better, we want to continue, because I haven't played this since last time. I think so far the two things that I'm the most excited for that we've heard about. I am absolutely dying to see how they're going to handle the announced crossover between Star Trek Strange New Worlds and Star Trek Lower Decks. Because that's apparently a thing that's going to happen. And I can't wait to see whether it's going to be animated or live action or my kind of semi-secret hope. A mix of both. I think that would be phenomenal. Oh, right, right, Jurassic World. We did the little gyroscope tour. We finally saw a T-Rex up close in one of them. This is really cool. Disney has to grow, keep producing stuff. Eh, I'm not too worried about the Disney side of it. It's, you know, if it's content that I want, then it's content that we're going to get. It's just that there's a vast history of Marvel Comics. And I have to confess that as much as I enjoy the Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff for the most part, there's a lot of comics lore that they're going to be drawing on that I just have no experience with whatsoever. And we're starting to reach the point where that content that I know nothing about is dominating the movies that are coming out. And so I was already starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed like there was just too much to keep up with and now that it's too much to keep up with that I know nothing about I'm probably going to start to fall off the wagon a little bit but that's okay I'll just you know I'll pick and choose and keep up with the bits that I'm interested in and let the rest of it slide it's not like we've got a shortage of stuff to entertain ourselves with these days 
Okay, so where did we leave off? We have profits. We have more money, I believe, than we did when we started building the park, which is a good sign. Who can keep up with all that? I know, right? I actually ran out of steam for the MCU after Endgame. It was a satisfying conclusion, and there's other stuff, but yeah, you couldn't keep up with it. Yep. How's it going, Atsara? It's good to see you. Another day, another day. Another vehicle threatened by a T-Rex. You didn't even make it to endgame? Fair. Flying circus game just ended. Very cool. I am seriously really excited about the cheer... Or not the cheers, the Fraser revival. I can't wait to see what's going on with that. I don't know how much they talked about. I literally only saw the one image that I posted in the Discord. But I've actually been re-watching Frasier recently. And it's so much fun. It's such a great show. There's a reason it won so many awards back in the day. I have not had nearly as much luck trying to watch Cheers. The Frasier rewatch started with an attempt at watching Cheers, and I think I made it through about three episodes before realizing that it really has not aged very well. Whereas Frasier, there's the occasional thing that feels a bit off, but for the most part, it's actually, it, it's actually done a pretty good job of, uh, you know, maintaining a reasonable amount of, I want to say relevance, but it's more like irreverence. Yep, they're doing another one on Stara, with most of the original cast. Obviously, Martin's not going to be in it, sadly. But they're going to sort of check in with Fraser at this new, late stage of his life. And uh, see what's going on with him. Apparently it's going to be in a different city. It will not be in Seattle this time. He's not going to have the radio show. He'll probably be doing something else with his time. This will be kind of like, you know, the retired Dr. Crane kind of deal. Will his child show up more than once a decade? You know, honestly, I kind of hope not. I would rather they keep the focus where it belongs. A little check-in every once in a while with uh, what's-his-face would be kind of cool. Especially if we get to see Lilith. But I don't think we really need a whole lot of what's-his-name. That would be really fun, Aaron. Though. I've actually been watching... Um, what's the name of that show? Only Murders in the Building. Steve Martin, Martin Short, and... Uh, I can never remember her name. A younger actress, Selena Gomez. About a trio of, uh, you know, sort of crime investigators doing a true crime podcast, and it's really, really fun. So I would not mind seeing Frasier try to navigate the world of podcasting. Okay, I've been sitting here just kind of looking around the park forever. Looks like we've got fossils. Let's see if I can actually figure out what's going on so I can do something. I'm going to make her do this because she can do it with her qualifications and then we can give her a rest and we're all good uh right we'll do a little bit of a, an amenity survey this one could use a little bit of reconfig looks like we've started to gain a little bit of attention with the the adventure crowd so let's pop that in there That one's good. Now, how's our coverage looking, actually? 
Not great, actually. Coverage is not fantastic. Is your park doomed to suffer failure like in the movies? Well, actually, Alan, that's uh, that's kind of the point of this scenario. We're playing in what's known as chaos theory mode. It sends you back into the time period of the movies in a kind of a what-if scenario. So the very first one puts you back into the original 1993 Jurassic Park and tasks you with building the park and making it successful. And we did that. And then the second one, uh, it it kind of takes the Lost World Jurassic Park's concept of Jurassic Park San Diego and says, what if InGen had never shut down Jurassic Park San Diego? And so it tells you to build that park up and make that successful as well. And so we did that. Then we had to go on a much easier mission to capture some dinosaurs for Jurassic World. And now we have to build Jurassic World and make that successful. And this is the hardest one we've had to do to date so far. So no, it's not doomed unless you're bad at the game, which I am. And so it's probably doomed, but we'll make the best of it and see what we can do. Industrial espionage was a big problem in the first game. In this game, industrial espionage will only be an issue if I fall asleep at the wheel and ignore the needs of my scientists. If I keep them happy, they will not sabotage me. All right, so let's see. We need a really good look here. It looks like finances. We're making some pretty decent profits. Ticket sales are getting better. We are starting to pull in more adventure seekers. That's good. I think we're going to do a variation on that same thing that I did in the other one where we put, uh, you know, the uh, Struthiomimus dinosaurs in with the carnivores to raise infamy levels and pull in more adventure seekers. That was exceptionally effective and a lot easier than the rides. Although we do have the ride, which is probably why we're getting more of the adventure seekers now. Tonberry, how's it going? It's good to see you. Uh, all right, so what's our current objective? We need to increase the number of luxury guests. We have accomplished that. We need an accommodation rating of 95%. We have accomplished that too. Increase per minute profit from amenities to $150,000 per minute. Not per year, per minute. And we are very close to doing that, actually. So that's kind of cool. So with that in mind, I think maybe what we'll do, I wonder if we could increase the effectiveness of our amenities just by replacing the medium amenities with large ones. Where's my science center? Oh, great. We have a storm coming in. Large amenity. Oh, Pianzola. See, this is what I mean. She's not a serious risk of sabotage just now, but if I let that continue and make her keep working and not give her any breaks, eventually you would be right. She would actually sabotage the park and cause me unending grief. So we're not going to allow that to happen. She will get the rest that she needs and deserves. It's expensive but not nearly as expensive as a park catastrophe. Doing well. First of 17 days off work in a row. Holy crap, that's really awesome. And I have no idea what to do with myself. I'm sure you'll figure out something. What? Did he say snowstorm? I thought we were on the same park as in the first movie. What the hell? Or the not the same park, but the same island. Uh, 
Okay. Speaking of checking coverage. Shelters. Uh, it kind of looks like we could use more of these. Let's put one in right about there. Tornado. Oh, fun. Right. This is where I get to rapidly learn where all my crap is. Like, where's my response team? Right here. Oh, that's convenient. Hey, Jarek. How's it going? Are you saying that if you would work employees until they go crazy without breaks, they might betray you? How unreasonable. I know. But that's the way it seems to work. It's really weird. No worries, Jarek. No worries. That's what I'm here for. Do I want the dinosaurs to fight? No. But do they want to fight? For some, it is what they were born for, what they live for, and what they're willing to die for. That is a purity that few humans have. A building has been damaged by the storm. Hey, JH, how's it going? Oh, good. You hate that you have to be on vacation right now and just watch Gord stream? Well, I know it's a cross, but someone's got to bear it. Nope, not that. Nope, nope, nope. Whoa! Rude! The hell, sir? At least we've managed to keep the T-Rex from actually escaping so far. Although... Oh, no, okay, I think we got the fence closed. I think we're good. Just flipped car and he's just staring through them? Hey, we train our people really well. Spared no expense, one might say.
Where's our other ranger team? Okay, they're working on that. We gotta get that one fixed. Oh. Dino danger is done. Weather has subsided. Let's let the people out. Nope, oh, come on. There we go. Uh, there you are. He's still got a few more tasks. There we are. Good as new, like nothing ever happened. That's looking a little low. Now, how did our research go? I guess that must have finished. Is running a dinosaur park a profitable business? Well, after a storm like this, we tend to take a little bit of a hit, but generally speaking, we tend to make hundreds of thousands of dollars per minute, so you can decide. If that sounds profitable to you, then yes. Now, what's this? Ginger beer? Pfft, who needs it? You can easily spend millions of dollars per minute. I could, too. Guests want more drink amenities. Place amenities where there are a lot of guests to maximize profit. Fine. If they really want their ginger beer that badly, I will give them a large ginger beer. Okay, no, not Boba, come on. The people have spoken, they want their ginger beer. We're gonna give them a skeleton display. A selfie spot. And an aquarium. What possible use could we have for burying money in the jungle? That doesn't sound very wise. Surely we can invest it better than that. There we are. T-shirts. Old news.
Well, that's going... Overcrowded guests, seriously? No, that's ridiculous. But it looks like we're doing okay. As long as it's inflating my profits, that's what really matters here. Sorry, Donuts, you have to go too. <laughs> you are just like those drug lords. Hey, the dinosaur incubation's not gonna pay for itself, you know. I gotta watch the bottom line. That's just how it is. Oh, wait, no. This is drinks. I don't want drinks. We already have drinks. We want shopping. This was t-shirts. Yeah. Now, are we going to stay with that t-shirt? Let's not stay with t-shirt. We're going to go with hats. This is not that kind of park. This is for enjoying dinosaurs. Okay, now we need a fossil display and a fish tank and sunglasses. And now we need to put food back on the menu again. And there is no possibility we're going to actually fit this inside here. So we're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging. This is going to have to move. And we're going to have to reconfigure this fence, I believe. And I might even have to move the capture team, the uh, response facility. No idea where I'm going to stick that but it, I think it might have to go. Girl dinosaurs in the wet t-shirts? Could be. Hey, that you never know. That might be a draw. They'd probably get eaten by dinos going by movie tropes. Probably, Anstara. Okay, we're going to have to... This this is the T-Rex paddock, so we have to be extra careful here. I'm going to temporarily fence that off. including a temporary gate.
Uh, you know what? Yep. I don't think we're going to fit a food amenity right in here. I mean, I will give it my best. Let's let's try. Let's see if we can do it. But I suspect it's not going to work. Nope. Okay. That means you have to move. I guess temporarily I can stick it right there. Now, I could put this right in the corner so I could give more space for the paddock here, but I kind of want to keep that for something else, potentially. So let's put this in as tight as I can make it. I'll let that build a little. It's not going to work. that'll have to do. And then the new gate will go right... right here after I get rid of the temporary fencing. What's the employee turnover like at this park? Actually, we haven't lost anybody so far. We have lost a machine or two, but we haven't lost any employees. And if I'm not mistaken, no guests have yet been eaten at this particular incarnation of the park. There we are. I snuck in a little fence upgrading too while the T-Rex wasn't looking. Perfect. Burgers and fries. That sounds... Not the best, actually. Uh, we want something that's white, green, and yellow. But I don't think that, that combo actually exists. So we're going to go white, red, and yellow. Or orange and yellow, as the case may be. And then to get the green, we'll do a fossil display. We'll do a fish tank. Technically, that's actually looking like it might be okay. But we're going to keep increasing this red, so we should probably do an ice cream machine too, just so that we're okay. Okay, now our permanent profit from amenities took a massive hit because I destroyed all of our amenities. But now that they're all rebuilt and much larger, hopefully we will see them tick back up into massive profits again.
that is going to take a little bit of time, so that's probably going to keep falling for a bit. Yeah, you can see it's dropping. Oh, what the? Oh, shoot. Okay, no ranger team assigned. I have to reassign stuff because I moved the ranger facility. So let's make sure we get that done. we are. see how the gyrosphere tour is going what happened to our t-rex actually that's a, another question I haven't seen Rex in a while there you are Now, where'd that T-Rex go? Better, I'd always believed that dinosaurs existed only on land. The dinosaurs, like all living things, originated in the sea. Some never left. We call them marine reptiles, however. Like the Mosasaurus. We'll get one ready. You can do that? It'll mean construction of a lagoon and hatchery. And it'll be expensive. That is no longer something I worry about. See that it is done, whatever it takes, and include a viewing gallery with it. I want a seat in the front row for the first show. Okay, then. Research available. Lagoon. They need to work on the acoustics in those gyrosphere bubbles. Research complete. Small carnivores, too. So we need to construct an operational lagoon section... Lagoon Hatchery and Lagoon Viewing Stand. I can't help but notice that we're, we are somewhat landlocked here. Are we building this in a lake? What's going on? I mean, I was looking to turn this into an active part of the park. If we're building it in lakes, I could expand the lake here and turn this into our lagoon for the uh, Mosasaur. That would definitely be something for the gyrosphere to see. Or we could use something up here. Or, you know, share a space with the T-Rex. T-Rex versus Mosasaur, I'm sure that would go well. Now, where'd that T-Rex go isn't the sort of question you want to have to ask. Eh, yeah, it is a little disturbing how often that one comes up, it's true. Marine Reptiles 1. Fox Hills Formation, Maastricht Formation, Rewards Mosasaurus. Oh, we actually have to construct an operational lagoon section. How do we do that? Oh, boy. Okay, so we have some research to do.
Get those two working on that. And we'll get them working on that. So I guess since the game progressed on us with the scenario here. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Took a bit of a dip, but our profits are getting up there pretty good. more luxury. Have a fountain. Hats are doing okay. Ginger beer doing pretty good. How about these ones? We have more small amenities here. I used to have these over here and then I just moved them. Uh, we've got overcrowding going on. And I don't know that I can fix this because small amenities don't have as many spots for enhancement. And we've got people starting to complain. Our coverage is not very good over there. Looking much better over here though. Looks like upgrading to the large amenities did help extend our coverage. So that's Perfect. All right, so we had whoop. Library of Lore, please welcome our newest follower to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just move this again. Hats are useful down this way as well as over here. Except, oh, we can't do that. Never mind. We'll put it over here instead. Donuts. We need more luxury in our donuts, apparently. We can replace the fish tank with a full-blown aquarium. That'll do it. But we're going to move this one, too. Now that means that we've got shopping and food moved. I think I might try to squeeze in large amenities, which means I'm going to start altering stuff here. Right, let's actually stick with the luxury pathing. I'm just going to stick that there. I may regret that, but we'll see. I can always remove it. Twenty-one, six, thirty-five, thirty-eight. I'm thinking we make this a real big donut place with an aquarium. 
and an ice cream parlor. It just barely opened moments ago, and it's already $23,000 profitable. Lagoon upgrades one. Excellent. Hatchery up. Oh, Rahim, you need a break. guys work on that insufficient skill Ooh, is it is it time to start training and upgrading and buying more staff centers and hiring more people already huh let's see if I can build another staff center staff are busy we'll have to wait till they're done Ah, Piscivores, Baryonyx, very nice. That's not enough luxury for them. Wow. Fine, we'll give you a fountain. We have a very demanding crowd here. I would kind of hate to be in one of those things while the dinosaur is walking at you, but the ball keeps going and it ends up behind you. That would be nerve-wracking. Holy crap. Oh, look at this. These guys have a pretty good ride going, though. Oh, we're on the wrong track. EDM04 has been diagnosed with cryptosporiadosis. An MVU will be automatically dispatched to cure it. Perfect. I don't have to do anything. Excuse me, T-Rex. Could you move out of the way, please? That's kind of the opposite of moving out of the way, thanks. Tyrannosaurus Rex boasts one of the greatest bite forces ever recorded. Not only can this powerful predator's jaws easily shatter bones, but a single bite from T-Rex is enough to crush a car. That's exactly what you want to hear when you're in a glass bubble right next to one.
Despite its minute size, Pump Signatus is an accomplished predator. More commonly known as the Compi, this nimble little carnivore is one of, if not the, fastest bipedal dinosaurs to have ever existed. Hey Mad, how's it going? I'm having a fantastic night. A moment, please. I hear we have a new follower in the library. Eld, let's show them to a comfortable seat and welcome them in. Welcome on in, Blade. What's going on? Or is that Blades? Actually, that looks like Blades. I'm doing fantastic. I hope you're doing well as well. Alright. We don't need to ride the entire ride. We saw the T-Rex. That's what I wanted. I apologize again for starting stream a little bit later than usual tonight. Uh, Marvel was very rude and dropped all kinds of news out of SDCC, San Diego Comic-Con, right as I was trying to go live, and it was very distracting. So I blame Marvel. It's entirely their fault. You know what? I really think this is just making things more difficult, not easier, so we're going to get rid of that. Now, we only replaced one of our amenities. Let's move Ginger Beer here. Ginger Beer will go right there. A bit stuck in San Diego chaos theory. I needed three attempts to get through that one. San Diego is rough. But you will get there. Uh, you will definitely get there. I can relate, though. Marvel news is very distracting and so unfair of them. I know, Mad. Still want to see the latest Thor? Yes, I need to see Thor. And now I want to see other movies now. I'm actually reaching the point where I don't know most of the Marvel properties that they're announcing. So a lot of the new stuff I, I'm not too excited about. But I do want to see Black Panther 2. I want to see the new Captain America. I definitely have to see the new Thor and the new Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'm really super interested in the Marvels. I really want to see the, ta the, the team up between Kamala and... Uh, you know, uh, what's her name? Um, Carol Danvers is going to be really, really fun. And Loki season two should be pretty cool. There was something in there. It looks like it might be another TV show, uh, but there was something about Agnes as well, which is going to be awesome. So I, I'm looking forward to that. But, you know, there was a whole pile of other stuff. Oh, and Ant-Man Quantumania. I need to see that one. But, you know, a lot of the other new stuff, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with most of it. So I don't know how excited I am yet. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to try to keep up. Oddly enough, though, the thing that has me most excited is that apparently they formally announced the new Frasier series. So I, I'm really looking forward to that, even more than the MCU stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's true. The new Daredevil. I need to... Uh, I guess this means I need to actually watch the original Daredevil show and probably a few of the others. I don't know if I'll watch all of them. I don't really have a lot of interest in The Punisher or Iron Fist, but Jessica Jones might be pretty good. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? 
<laughs> you keep tuning in at just the right time. Well, you keep tuning in on Saturdays. Saturdays are strategy Saturdays. That's when I play my strategy games. And so this has been a very popular game for Strategy Saturday. All right, what do we got going on here? We have boba. That's not good. We want ginger beer. We need probably something better than the fossil display. Let's do the skeleton display. And then we need something for those luxury folks. We'll do a water feature. There we go. Now, it looks like there might actually be room in here for a washroom. So if I take the restroom. And move that right there. Then I can take the backup generator. And move that back there. That might give me enough space in here that I can do a new shopping amenity. Jessica Jones was good. Couldn't deal with Iron Fist or the Defenders. Oh, interesting blades. I know very little about it. I actually like the actor they got to play the Defender. He was good in The Walking Dead and all. He was pretty good as Shane. I just don't know much of anything about the character, and I don't know, it's just, there's so much to keep up with. That was one of the ones that kind of fell by the wayside for me. Love Jessica Jones was mad when it was over? Yeah. Oh, is this... You're kidding me. Is it too close? Oh, my God. Okay. I can just barely do it. Look at that. Oh, thank you, Aranor. Yes. Seraphine has not been streaming a lot lately, but uh, she is a wonderful streamer and really entertaining, and you should go check her out just in case she decides to pick that back up again. Oh, and hydrate and neck stretch. Thank you very much, Med. I will do that. I definitely need them neck stretch. Okay, thank you. I've started neck stretching with Gordon. I think it's good. It helps. It helps me a lot. I don't move my neck nearly enough. I, I'm too focused on my computers with a narrow, limited range of motion. Amazing. That's um, That's awesome. It's even better if I'm not the only one taking care of myself could definitely use an end to the heat wave yes let's make sure my paths are connected I realize this one probably is but it doesn't look like it is so I'm going to fix that Do you need to start taking better care of my back? Yeah, I've been trying to pay a lot more attention to that for the last year or so because I started to get to the point where I was having trouble bending at all. And so I started doing just like a lot of stretching and bending and back cracking and it's actually helped like you wouldn't believe. It's so much better now than it was. Range of motion is one of those things that you do have to use or you will lose it. And once you lose it, it's really difficult to get it back. So I'm trying like hell before it gets too, too bad. All right, how are we doing now? Coverage looks good. We're right on the edge with the luxury... Oh. Look at that. Okay. Look, fine. We'll do a water feature instead. There you go. 
we actually have overcrowded guests. What the heck? How is that possible? Sixty-four over... How can we have 64 overcrowded guests when we are not yet at capacity? Excuse me, game. What the hell? I like these profit numbers, though. 65,000? Nice. Okay. Oh, man. I forgot to configure this one. Uh, We are going to go... We had this one on hats. Actually, you know what? Let's go leisure wear. We're going to do leisure wear. So we're going to want dense racks and extra shelves. That will take care of our general population. We're going to do a skeleton display and the ever popular water feature. It's, that's barely enough. We'll do a sunglasses stand just to boost that a little bit. I think I've lost a lot of that, and when I have to use them, it makes things hurt, so probably damages things. Yeah. Only problem is doing things. Yeah, it's the age-old problem. Nothing gets done unless you actually do something. Okay, now, we were actually on some kind of a mission, weren't we? Didn't we have to... You know, speaking of doing things, we had to do something. In oh right, insufficient skill. We want the lagoon upgrades before we bother building building a, a functional lagoon. So we need more staff, which means I need more paths. Oh, I can't go that way. That's so annoying. I hate it. Oh well. Scientist training up to level 3. Increase staff center building limit. So what do we need this? Staff improvements to construct an operational staff center. So we have to get this one. Oh, you need a break. Cortez, you need a break. Wanting the day when bodies can just take care of them without me actually doing thinking stuff. I don't know, I kind of like the thinking part myself. It's all the other stuff that I don't care for. Where'd the T-Rex go? Once again, that question rears its ugly head. Oh, there you are. Wow. He doesn't get out to this part of the park very often. Lagoon section, an environment suitable for marine reptiles. Oh, that's weird. What the heck? You have to build it on land, not in the water? That's freaking bizarre. What the hell? Okay, that means we're going to pause and I'm just going to get rid of all this water. That's what we're going to do. We'll just replace it with lagoon water.
Obviously, you don't want your lagoon flooded. That's a fair point. How's it going, Amish? Okay, let's keep a little bit of distance. Oh, the okay, the gyrosphere track. There we go. You know what? I actually don't like that. I almost like it. Not quite, though. There, I think that works better. It's your day off if only you could find a comfortable position to exist in. Ooh, yeah. We were just talking about stuff like that, actually, Amish. I've added a next stretch redemption. Oh my god, I forgot to re-enable the jokes again, damn it. <laughs> um... I've got a next stretch redemption because my my uh, my computer use doesn't leave me moving my neck enough, and so it gets really stiff, and I'm starting to lose range of motion. And you know, the same used to be true of my back, although I've been getting a lot better at stretching that. It just leads to really uncomfortable everything. All right. I hope you're able to find something comfortable soon. Um, yes. Insufficient skill. Okay, we should be hopefully able to train up some of our staff again now. Actually, let me just real quick. What were the requirements? so that I don't train up the wrong stuff and not have it available. We have 13 potential skill in logistics. We need 16, so I need to improve three points across no more than three scientists. In specifically logistics. And you need to rest. So, let's train... Yeah, you're a little... Oh, you cap out pretty early, don't you? Still a pretty decent generalist. Um... You very much are genetics go-to. Mr. Rahim, you can do logistics. Welfare. 
also welfare. Okay, hopefully that's helped. We still have one more person to train up. Staff busy, but that means we can do it, so that's good. I'll just wait till this rest period is over. Now let's... Oh, hey, it's done. Oh, that actually looks really nice. Alright, so... That's the lagoon section. Lagoon hatchery allows the genetic... Genetic synthesis, modification, incubation, and release of marine reptiles must be attached directly to a lagoon. We're going to do that back around here. Oops. Lagoon viewing stand. Before you can build this, you must first research it. Okay. So I figure we'll do several of those around here and back here. Your park rating and profit has grown by 27%. Damn, that's nice. Oh, I just realized it's almost 1 o'clock. I should probably take a break soon. That's maybe a thing I ought to think about doing. Speaking of taking care of yourself. Or, you know, taking care, as most people would say. Teams? Why would I... What teams do you need to assign? Oh, okay. So it's... Basically, like any other enclosure, it does need a ranger team and a mobile debt unit and all that. Interesting. All right. Gotta wonder how their teams check the welfare of the underwater dinos. The hard way, probably. I mean, they certainly do it the hard way when they're checking the T-Rex. Power? What? Oh, crap. I don't want anything relying on backup generators.
There we are. Ah, oh, there you are. See what I mean? And it looks like our resting is done, so let's train up our last guy. He's a logistics specialist. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Now we should have no problems with that research we couldn't do before. Staff Improvements 3. That'll let me get more staff centers. Then we can get to work on the other research we needed to do. Actually, you know what? Before we even have to worry about that, where the heck is my expedition center? Okay, seriously, where the hell is my expedition center? Oh, here it is. Wow, I really put it off the beaten path here. Ceratosaurus, and mostly we can't do this stuff because staff are busy. Okay, fair enough. I really like the way they made the lagoon look. It looks really, really nice. I still think it's really, really weird that it has to be landlocked. Although, actually, I guess that might be a security thing. They can't just bust through a wall and escape to the open ocean if the lagoon itself is landlocked. Although that would be amazing to accidentally do a few times. <laughs> okay, how are we doing here? Somehow still have overcrowded guests. Let me just take a look at this. 96% guest comfort. Transportation rating is good. Shelter coverage is my weak point. Interesting. I wonder where we're lacking there. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that would do it, huh? Regular rain or storm? Not hearing announcements, so I'm going to assume regular rain for the moment.
Almost there. Staff Improvements 3. Excellent. <laughs> now we don't have enough skill again, but we don't need that one right now, so we're good. We are good. One moment. Did you know Twitch Prime members only get one free Prime subscription a month? Did you know someone just used theirs here? Thank you. Hongwood, what the heck? 15 months, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. How are you doing? I hope all is well. Uh, okay, we need the viewing platform before we can get the Lagoon viewing stand. So we're going to get several bits of research done here. Cortez will handle the viewing platform. Rahim will handle guest attraction, because we could probably use those. And then we'll worry about these once these are unlocked. Meanwhile, since we're only tying up two of our staff with research, let's see if I can do an expedition, because I haven't done one all stream. Arnataris is only 71%? What the heck? We're gonna finish that off. Off you go then. Everything is going great? Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Really, really glad to hear that. Okay, so now that we're getting this developed, I guess it makes sense to continue the path around it. And I'll probably have... I wonder... They're treating this like basically any other enclosure in a lot of ways. I wonder if it would make sense to put a large hotel abutting it. So that they've got a really good view. I think that probably would make a lot of sense. Not going to do anything about that just yet until we actually have the viewing gallery unlocked for it. I want to see how much space those take up because I do want to have at least two or possibly even three viewing galleries for the lagoon because that's a pretty big space. There's a goat right there. Why are you going for the freaking Jeep? <sighs> T-Rexes are basically giant cats. Forget chickens, they're giant cats. Jeeps are known to be delicious, that's true. If the movies are to be believed, that is true. <laughs> Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside. I mean, it's hard to argue with that. You two are way too in sync.
Research complete. Marine viewing gallery. One items unlocked. All right, now we can build the viewing stand. Oh, nice. This is actually very small, which is perfect for our purposes. Oh, and the gyrospheres do get to see into here. That's awesome. That is very perfect. Okay, so we'll do that. Do that. Put a ginormous freaking hotel right in here. Might wrap the monorail around as well to improve transport through the area. So, let me see. Before I put any paths in or power or anything, I'll just have that locked in. Let's maybe put this in on the other side of the pathway. Now this is suddenly about to become primo path space, so we're going to upgrade this to the big luxury path. a little space between the path and the actual enclosure here because we are going to need to put in shelters and shops and all that fun stuff and no that's not going to work undo just connect it up around the other way. And now that just leaves power.
There we go. Increased gen genome of Mosasaurus. All right, we can do that. Our scientists aren't busy. We may have one or two that need a break by this point. Where do we have Mosasaur? That's Majungasaurus, which we also need. Dimorphodon. Oh, I can go after T-Rex now, too. Very nice. So we can get more T-Rexes. I have no idea where this... Uh... Oh, did we have to research to actually get the extraction sites? Hang on. You need more monitors? Get 4K monitors, then you can put each one in a corner and you still get really high-res images. It's really nice. Yeah, that's what's missing. Jeez, oh, okay. What do we need? We only need three logistics, so we'll get Raheem to work on it. And he's only got two genetics, so we need seven more genetics. So we'll get Pianzola and... Um, you. That'll do. My 4K monitor count is now up to 2, JH, and I really love it. Honestly, I find them most useful. I mean, they're great for gaming, obviously, when I'm not streaming anyway, because most of the time I can't stream in 4, like while watching a 4K stream or a game. But I do a lot of spreadsheet work, and 4K is amazing for spreadsheet work. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's the best for spreadsheets. I actually find it even better for spreadsheets than it is for gaming. That only has 22 unused power. That tells me that I probably need another substation. Oh, hey, research is complete. Ichthyosaurus, Dimorphodon, Plesiosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Mosasaurus, the Netherlands. Faster expeditions, excellent. Get yourself out there. Oh, we need another one. Uh, Oh, jeez. Okay, it's got to be Irfan. This Raheem needs a break badly.
It's interesting that they've got the ground level cage here. Well, I guess they don't really want people falling in. That would probably be bad. But it's interesting that it's such a big fence. You would think that these would have a very limited view. I wonder if I have space maybe somewhere along this side for one. I could probably put one here. Oh, that works. I like this better, though. We're going to do that. I don't like the way this flattens out the corner there on the edge. Maybe don't want whatever's in there removing anything while walking past from the shore. That's true. Kind of like the end of Jurassic World. I watched that again recently. That was so good. I mean, it's no original Jurassic Park, let's be honest. But it was still really, really good. And I love the ending. With the T-Rex versus the, what's it called, versus the Mosasaurus. Okay, this area is shaping up really nicely. I like it. We'll have to expand into this area around here, and so we can bring the monorail track and build a complete loop at some point. I think that'll be pretty good. Let's work on improving our enclosures. Speaking of stuff getting out and eating things along the edges. Wow, these guys have a good view. Damn, let's see if we can get into that gyrosphere, see what that looks like. Uh, where is the gy- ah, there it is. That's good to know. Even if you're eaten by a dinosaur, the gyrosphere will keep you upright through the entire process. Do I have upgrades for the science center yet? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's take advantage of this. Ah, uh, you're fine. You need a break. <laughs> oh, God. All of my genetics people are busy. I... Can't, oh man, I can't actually do it. Wow. Okay, I should be able to now, hopefully. Let's make sure. 
You're fine. You get your break in there. Oh, these... We get, wait, we can train again? That's actually really handy. Cortez, you are maxed out on logistics. Let's get you... Significantly upgraded on genetics. That's going to make you a much better generalist. We're going to max your logistics at a mighty nine. And start you on some genetics a bit as well. You are all about the genetics. Busy resting. Welfare. And then some more genetics. Good. Okay. So our staff are much now better well-rounded. So that should be good. Uh, research fossils. There we are. Shelter coverage is only at 97%. What the... What? How is that a thing? Oh, it's actually counting here. Well, that's easy enough to fix. I didn't figure anybody was actually using this stuff yet. Carnotaur is complete. While we're at it, I'm gonna just preemptively stick in a restroom too. I'll need one over here as well, especially if I do put in amenities, which kind of is the plan. We'll have some in and around here along this path. Okay, now. Mosasaurus. For only 41%. Wow. All right. We're going to have to get back out there then. Cortez and you. And then you're both going to... Oh man, that's... Expensive expeditions. That's more than two million per trip. And holy crap, I just noticed how much money we don't have anymore. Wow. It's a good thing we're still pretty profitable. But we really need those Mosasaurs. Yep, that's right. They live in the water and occasionally they split it. Or part it in, in the parlance of the Mosasaurs themselves. Another plus 26%. Very cool. I can't wait till we get this part open. That's going to be so nice. Now, the way these are designed, I wonder... Oh, I, I was thinking maybe you could pack them in tightly together, but no such luck. Did I ever actually take that break? I don't think I did, did I?
I did not. Okay. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a break. My breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes long, so if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to get up and move around a bit. If you need to get up yourselves and grab a snack, grab a drink, use the facilities, whatever you got to do, this is a really good opportunity. So I'll meet you back here when I'm back. Um. Oh, whoa. Uh. What did I just do? How is it possible to do what I just did? I have no idea where this is going to take me, but I have a feeling it might be a station or the Nexus. What? But it was stream-related stuff, and it went incredibly well, so I'm very happy with the results. There we go. Ah! Oh, you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? Keep your eyes open. Watch out for that. Yeah, for that. Jedi Duncan! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history. No past and no name. The mysterious stranger. That was not a sniper shot. Explosion. What's up? Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. More of that, that I always forget about it. This ought to encourage me. What? I expect to be well paid. Nubby, for the money. what the heck? Nubby, thank you. I have no idea what that is. You don't have to tell me. It can be a surprise. I will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives. I like this so far. I like the ones that have the big, long ramps like this. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Hey! Hey! That's my tank! I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Too fast. 
Christ. Oh my god. I love the really close up view. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm back. Oh hey, sketchy. Welcome home. Sorry to hear about the airports. I do hear that they are kind of a bit of a nightmare. Okay, let's get back into it. Thank you, Aaron Thor. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you, J.H. I guess that helps. Thank you, Ansara. Hmm. Let's see, I've got some bot problems. The bot did not announce my return. Which is a little weird because it did announce that I went on my break. Oh well, I'll see about fixing that later. If it doesn't fix itself. Thank you, Mad. Uh, hopefully you'll be back tomorrow. It's common to feel like crap right after a big trip like that. You're kind of tired and jet lagged and all that, but uh, you know, see how you feel tomorrow, maybe the next day. Okay. Now, where were we? We're waiting on our expedition because we can't actually make Mosasars yet. Yeah, yeah, I hope you feel better too. I think I'm going to need a little bit of terrain sculpting here. Smooth things out a little bit. And we're just about done. Oh, 
I've never seen one with eight before. That's impressive as heck. Wow. It's taking an awful lot of expeditions to get this Mosasaur, by the way. That was two expeditions, and this is only going to land us at 61%. So that's a minimum one more expedition to get that done. Possibly two. Just mosey on up to that expedition. I will try that. We'll see if it helps. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something with this area out here. Maybe out this way. Ah, new viable genome. Okay, we are actually making money again pretty quickly, which is good. Maybe I'll do the Carnotaurs and Majungasaurus out that way. Mosasaurus. <clears throat> Do I want to do it at 62%? They've got a large appetite and they're needy. And they're going to be expensive as heck. Yeah, I think we need to get there genome more complete so we may have to pace ourselves a little bit but oh staff are busy too many are resting speaking of staff though Cheaper expeditions. I would really rather have faster expeditions. Cheaper's good, but fast is better. Hammer, hey, how you doing? It's good to see you. Good. We get Cortez and we'll get Nexana.
What else can we do in the meantime? Actually, we have Carnotaurus at 100%, don't we? I suppose I could start planning out what we're going to do with that. This looks like a better area to do Piscivores. But maybe back here. This would be great for Carnotaurus and Majungasaurus or Mayungasaurus or however it's pronounced. And we can carry on the monorail. Yeah, I think that could work. Plus, we've got all this space back here that we can use, too, that I haven't even looked at, let alone touched. You know, Jurassic World gets a pretty large area to work with, which is really nice. Forty-eight to seventy-three. Okay. Eventually, at some point, we're going to have to start worrying about replacing lost dinosaurs. Okay, so we've looped that around there. I'm going to put another viewing gallery in. And then we'll do another enclosure around here. A little lopsided, but I think it'll work. Oh, I really should have made that out of a tougher fence material, shouldn't I? But that's okay, there's nothing in it, we can upgrade it. It's not a problem.
And they're going to need a bit of water. In San Diego, they really liked their sand. But so did Tyrannosaur. And well, actually, Tyrannosaur still likes a bit of sand, but not nearly as much as they needed in the other one. So I'll just make this a sandy bottom lake. Hopefully that will take care of it. If not, I can always add more. Oh, what? Attention, incoming raid. Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. What the heck? Guys, we've got an Ultrasaurus raid coming in. What the heck, my dude? How's it going, Ultra? It's so good to see you. Welcome on in, Ultra, and Tagarung, and Space Vikings, and Kagarik, and I apologize if I just butchered your name, and Jay Ritchie. Welcome in everybody. A queen trap or queen trap. Welcome on in. How's it going? Oh, thank you, Jay Richie. You're too kind. You're way too kind. What were you playing? How was your stream, Ultra? A moment, please. I hear we have a new follower in the library. El, let's show them to a comfortable seat and welcome them in. Thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Ultra. Please tell me all about your stream. I would love to hear about it. I'm very, very sorry I wasn't able to hang out tonight, but we've been playing Jurassic World. Uh, we are actually playing Jurassic World itself. We are building the park. I am building really terrible, uneven, dilapidated-looking enclosures. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've got all the stuff. We've got the monorails. We've got the gyrosphere tours running right through the, the uh, Tyrannosaur paddock. It's all kinds of fun stuff. But how is your stream? Folks, if you're not following Ultrasaurus, she's been an amazing friend of the channel for a couple of years now. I love hanging out with her and spending time. She is wonderful, amazing, amazing person, amazing friend, really big on dinosaurs. The uh, username might be a little bit of a clue there that she is into the dino games as well. So make sure you go give her a follow. You will not regret it. And big congratulations to Ultra, who just recently got engaged. So congratulations on that as well. Just doing American Truck Simulator chill stream, but I got no sleep last night and had a long day at work, so you're falling asleep. No worries. You don't have to hang out or anything. Go get some rest. You should take care of yourself. That's really important. I super crashed my truck into another truck pretty badly at the beginning of the stream. That kind of sounds like it, Ultra. Hey, Mr. Oliver Esquire, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Maybe you'll check her out. I think you really should, Space Viking. Something tells me you might enjoy spending time in her community. I think it might be up your alley. I can't say for sure, but I just have this feeling, you know? I, I, I think it might appeal to you. So, oh, geez. I'm forgetting all my raid stuff. Uh, all right, so <laughs> let me introduce myself. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of story-driven games with excellent character development. I also play a lot of strategy games. This is, in fact, is a strategy Saturday. I also play sandboxy games, and lately I've been doing more and more classic adventure games and retro RPGs. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do also have a bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 
aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. go that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts thank you so much ultra and 10 hours on a farm in the sun that's like my worst nightmare especially in this heat wave i hope you're doing okay i hope you get some good rest did i just crank the volume way above 100 that sounded very loud yeah that's too high let's try 100 100's good. So, we're up to an exciting part of Jurassic World here, Ultra, and everyone. I'm just trying to get set up to open a Mosasaur exhibit. We've got a lagoon built. I'm just trying to get the Mosasaurs themselves. I've got a viable genome, but it's only 61%, so I'm trying to get it higher because they've got some pretty bad genetic qualities that I want to try to improve. And the lower the genome you have completed, the more limited you are in the modifications you can make to it. So I'm not necessarily shooting for 100% because I'm actually a little bit low on money. My income is really good, but my cash reserves are pretty low. So, um, oh, actually, it looks like my exhibition, my, uh, my excavation is complete oh my god look at this mosasaur is so expensive to get i just paid over two million bucks to send out an expedition that brought back one piece of amber that's only going to improve the genome 11 percent Oof, okay, well, maybe 72% will be good enough. We'll see. I usually like to go to at least more than 80%, but given the expense involved, I might have to settle for 70. So we'll get that synthesized, or, you know, extracted, rather, and we'll see how it goes. So right now, we've got this beautiful big lagoon. I've got a hotel set up. I've got viewing galleries. There's even a gyrosphere going right alongside with good viewability into it, but there's nothing living there. It's kind of sad. It's not specific, which makes me sad. Maybe in Jurassic World Evolution 3, they'll get more specific about that. It's just generic Mosasaur. Unless maybe... I wonder if it tells you in more detail when you read about it. <laughs> Dinosaur needs shark. Okay. Open space. Minimum population of one. 
They like small marine reptiles. They don't like large marine reptiles. Yeah, it doesn't really describe it. Um, hmm. We could always check the... Where is the... Isn't... I thought there was some kind of Dinopedia. The Jurassic World database, that's it. Oh, no, that's Chronosaurus. Library of Lore. A new viewer has just followed the channel. Eld, please prepare a comfy seat for our guest. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I don't think it really gets terribly detailed about the specific subspecies. Because it does actually matter. Well, for purposes of the game, it doesn't. It's a species, and we're doing it, so... Speaking of doing it, let's... Nope, that's... Oh, actually, yeah, I do want to see if I can do any more modifications. I would love to reduce that large appetite requirement. Large appetite requires efficient metabolism. Okay. Release one dinosaur with the large appetite trait. I call bullcrap on that. All right, fine. So we can't do that until we do the thing I didn't want to do because I wanted to fix it by doing that. Ugh. What do we need? 13 or 14 genetics? Okay, so that's going to take a little bit. While we're waiting on that, I've started working on this area over here, which I was doing when you guys arrived. This is going to be a Carnotaurus enclosure. Carnotaurus is a species that finally, or one of the species that finally enabled me to get out of uh, Jurassic Park San Diego. So we need feeders. We don't need shark feeders. That would be funny, though. I'll put one of those in. And I actually, I wanted to upgrade the enclosure because I accidentally built it with substandard fencing. Always an excellent idea when you're building a carnivore enclosure, I find. Just go cheap. Doesn't matter. If they break out and eat your guests, that just means your food costs go down. All right, there we go. Ah. Synthesis complete. Now let's see if I can afford to do the incubation. I might have to wait a bit, little bit. One viable egg, and it's aggressive. Great. Affects the whole territory if alpha dislikes and threatens all other species. Well, it's going to be alone for a while, so that's pretty okay. What do we need? 13 genetics? Probably not you then. We'll go with you and you and you. And no, it's welfare actually. There. Ooh, wow. Almost 10 minutes. All right. 
We'll see about doing the Carnotaurus in the meantime. And the guests were probably a-holes littering and yelling at the staff and such, so yeah, exactly. Plus, the thing that really saved me with the Carnotaurus and the Myungasaurus and all the other carnivores that I had in, San, uh, in Jurassic Park San Diego is I discovered that if I put like Struthiomimus dinosaurs, like really harmless but relatively large ones, in with the carnivores and the carnivores ate them, the infamy of the dinosaurs went way up and it attracted a lot more adventure-seeking visitors to the park. And that helped so much. That really helped. The park became way more popular. I mean, it was a little bit expensive, but as dinosaurs go, Struthiomimus are really not all that expensive. So I made a whole bunch of those things, and I just fed them to the other dinos. And the weird thing is, I put a bunch in with the Tyrannosaurs. They killed and ate exactly one of the Struthiomimus, and the rest of them spent years living in happy coexistence with the T-Rexes. It was the weirdest thing. One got eaten. And then the Rexes just completely ignored them for the entire rest of the history of the park. But the Raptors, the Dilophosaurs, Carnotaurus, they all ate them like there was no tomorrow. They really preferred them to the goats. There we go. It's not exactly the highest rating fence, but it's better than what I originally built. Okay. And we're going to need... One ranger post is probably enough. I need another hospital by the looks of it. I don't have any MVU units for you. All right, let's modify our genome here of the Carnotaur. We're going to randomize the skin and pattern color, even though we don't actually have any random patterns. And we're going to... Increase humbleness. Okay, so that'll take a little bit. Now, what is this bullcrap about being low on power? I see the backup generator is out, but nothing should be making use of that. Unless, oh shoot, hang on. <laughs> Where's my power generation? Small power station, unused power zero. Yeah, okay. Okay. Just get this connected up here. All right, that should take care of that. Once those are built anyway. 
but I'm just going to let these run out of fuel because I don't want them actually being the primary power source for anything. They're backups for a reason. I might have to redo this path at some point. It occurs to me that it would have been good to leave more space here so that I actually had room to build a hotel up close to here. I could do indents, though, the way I've done it other places, like here. That does tend to work fairly well. Could do one here and one here, and probably not here because there's too much stuff there, but... Ah, uh, dropped by 5%. Rude. So how are we coming along here? Three minutes to go. But that... Kind of suggests, yes. Now we're ready to incubate the Carnotars. Now, I think these guys actually have a minimum population of four, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to need to do more of them. And my staff are busy and I don't have enough money. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait on them. These are gonna be the bigger draw anyway, I would hope. Oh, that's the wrong viewing gallery. Just gonna pop another one of these in here. Now, new small power stations online. Oh my god. It just came online. It's already got zero unused power. Crap. That means we've really been relying on these generators. What the heck? I think that means I have to do some power research. Yep, yep. So I think what I need to do next, uh, I would like to get to a large power station, which I could do. I will do soon. But in the meantime, I'm just going to research the ability to increase the output of the small power stations then I'll also have the ability, once I research the big ones, to build a big one and immediately increase its output. But this way, I don't have to wait for the big one to actually be constructed. I can just upgrade the small ones immediately. Attention Library of Lore. We extend our warmest greetings to our latest follower. Eld will show you to a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. 
we're gonna do the shark feeding right by the hotel. Because I'm sure, you know, people want to wake up in the morning and that's what they see. It'll be great. Three buildings without power. Oh, we're almost ready for the big reveal. Dr. Wu is looking at increasing the Velociraptor population. So we're going to be bringing in an ex-military specialist. Mm -hmm. He's a bit of a free spirit, so you'll need to keep him on track. Uh -huh. Name's Grady. Owen Grady. My job here is to look after the well-being of the dinosaurs. I'm an animal behaviorist. First things first. Let's incubate and release a pack of Velociraptors. Owen is here to ensure everything goes to plan. Well, that's going to have to wait. I want to implement my Carnotaurus plan before we go into Velociraptors. That was cool. I like that. I like that I built this quite a bit bigger than it needed to be, too. That's really, really good. Oh, five plus. That's awesome. We're just running out of backup power everywhere. But on the plus side, it looks like research is finished. There we go. Now we've got unused power, which means we are no longer relying on any kind of backup power. And that means... Actually, you know, I probably can't afford to refill these anyway. That will be lacking power, not because I don't have enough power, but because I haven't extended power far enough. So let's make sure we get that taken care of. There we go. All done. Okay, now we've got this section open. This is suddenly going to become a very popular area. That means we need to check on our amenities. How's our coverage? Pretty abysmal right back in here, as I expected. But pretty good everywhere else, which is very encouraging. I don't think I've ever seen these guys fight before. This is actually really cool. Uh, 
That's right, you run away. Local dinosaur appeal, appeal 2,500. Yep, this is our big, big, big draw now, suddenly. That's awesome. And I've got space here if I want to do another hotel, which is really good. Man, those things are huge. Need to decide if I want fish sticks for dinner or something faster. You don't get much faster than this. Okay, let's check out. Yeah, okay, so we're rising again. Oh, look at... Wow, okay, I have to go and check all the amenities. Look at this adventure seeking. I've never seen this so high. Holy crap. Okay, ginger beer here. Still doing pretty good. Hats. Kind of on the line with luxury, but not bad overall. This one's okay. That one's good. That one needs reconfiguring because suddenly adventure seekers. Uh, let's do something not quite so expensive. How's a selfie spot? That'll do it. Leisure wear looking good. Hats. If I replace extra shelves with an entertainer, we'll be all right. I have some new potatoes and some white sauce to go with those already. Well, that sounds good. We do... Let's see. We'll get rid of the fossil display and replace it with a skeleton display. Yeah. Now, because I've got this area over here, I had been planning on doing the amenities for this area here, right around here and here. But I'm thinking this area might make more sense now because it can serve here as well. No worries, Aaron Lord. Thank you for your help today. I really appreciate that. I'm not worried about that, though, Tagarong. The other stores in the area will make up for it. Those are small amenities. They're always going to be hard to maintain. I'll eventually trash them. And replace them with bigger amenities. I am not the type to nitpick about every individual thing making a profit. Some of them can be loss leaders. Okay, so we're going to do a drink right around... There. Emergency, we're being raided. What? Lara, Elf, Jaduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. Holy crap, what is with all the raid love tonight? Idol! 
coming in with the raid idle word you were amazing thank you so much for bringing your kind folks here how are you doing this evening what were you streaming tonight what's going on how how, how did it all go tell me all about it the dinos are going really good i just for the very first time ever idle released a mosasaur into a lagoon i've never played with the aquatic uh reptiles before or the marine reptiles and it's really really heckin awesome so it's really good timing it's really good to see you how was your stream tell me all about it could we get a shout out for idle word please it went from plus 1k to minus 800 that not worried about it tagarung the others are way more profitable it's not a problem it serves the need in the area and the others will more than make up for the lack of profits don't worry about it Hey, Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for bringing your pillow for forks, for folks with you, Idol. We are so close to the end of Andromeda. You're probably a lot closer than I am, Idol. I've played through Andromeda twice, and I didn't finish it either time. <laughs> but I'm also not done with it, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, thank you, Greeny. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Andromeda is awesome. We will get back to Andromeda at some point. Maybe next, th well, next Thursday. I was kind of thinking of maybe, I don't know. Next next Thursday, I got to finish Stray, and then I've got to move on to a different game because I've probably got less than an hour of Stray left. I was thinking maybe Star Trek Online, but I could do Andromeda. We'll see. Anyway, uh, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of single-player games with excellent story and character development, as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, classic RPGs, and adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Uh, hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Yeah, my Whoa! Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. go that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts yeah stray is an amazing game idol i won't tell you anything i won't spoil it but you do have to play it it's amazing it's short but worth it so so worth it it's really really good uh okay let's see uh i'm not sure am i blue or something a bit different you are a darker blue jh on my screen at least with hints of maybe just edging a little bit towards the purple zone
Idle Word has to read every book, annoys everyone, wants to know if she can romance all the things. See, that's not at all annoying. That is how you properly play games. This is why Idle and I get along. She knows what's up. Okay, so we've got a storm coming in, but here's the lagoon I just set up. I've got a hotel right on the water. We've got a variety of viewing galleries. I've got a shark set up for feeding. And dating sim enthusiast, nice. Oh good, it's another tornado. And... Once again, it is targeting the Tyrannosaur Paddock. That's just great. And my Jeeps are unavailable. Where the heck are they? Yes, you do. You do, Nebby. Idle is wonderful. There you are. Now, can we maybe make sure that the Tyrannosaur pen is still secure? That's not encouraging. Where's my other Jeeps? Yeah, could you maybe go fix that fence for me, please? T-Rex is right here. <clears throat> we are good, right? Oh, God. There's... Oh good, there is a hole in the T-Rex pen fence. That's amazing. Oh, he's going to fix it right now. Okay. At least in theory. <laughs> but finally crashing Ultra. Please rest well. Get some sleep. You really, really, really desperately need it by the sounds of it. I will see you again really soon. Have a great night. And thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate that. The best decisions, the chaos ones, exactly idle. Uh, you don't seem to be in enough of a hurry to fix the Tyrannosaurus pen. I'm actually not all that worried because all the guests are in shelters by now, but even so. You don't really want to mess with the T-Rex pen. Yeah. 
You know, I gotta say, the Jurassic World Jeeps actually handle better than the Jurassic Park ones. I'm not gonna say they handle a lot better, but they do handle a little better. At least a little. See, I would have flipped the thing on its roof if, if it, this had been a Jurassic Park Jeep. Uh, okay. Clearly, not entirely impossible to flip them. But still quite a bit better. On the whole, I'm pretty happy. No, we had a we had a tornado hit the tyrannosaur pen again. And my automated repair guys were being a little bit slow to get to it. I wanted to take matters into my own hands. It won't let me drive under. That's so irritating. In oh my god. Insufficient funds? Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, that tornado may have destroyed more than the Tyrannosaur paddock. I'd better let the people out and hope nobody gets eaten. Because we need money. Nobody panic. It's all fine. <laughs> Our water is parting. Not yet, but, you know, Moses lives in the water here. Could happen. we we'll just have to wait and see. I wish you could take out a loan. We are, Aaron Lord. Yes, we are. Okay. Thankfully, most of the park still seems to have power. Oh, that's cool. It goes right into the water. Oh, I love that. So far, I am sad to report there is no sign that Moses is parting the seas. Except possibly with his wake. <laughs> Financial disaster, danger of bankruptcy. That's uh, okay. It actually looks like we're recovering now. We've gone back into profitability, so I suspect we'll be all right. It's going to give us three minutes, and we just gained tens of thousands of dollars in very short order, so I, th I think we might pull through. 
We're now at negative 129,000. Negative 94,000. Negative 59,000. So yeah, I think we'll be all right. We're going to make it. Negative 23. Yeah. Yep. Not a problem. We'll be profitable again in no time. There we go. Your park rating and profit has grown by 14% this month. <laughs> Okay, now where were those jeeps? Let's get you to focus on power stuff. Okay, so there's the staff center, and then we had this guy. And that one's less critical, but still needs fixing. And so does that. And that, and his task spots are full. Uh. All right, we'll get to those. Oh, I haven't seen that one, Greeny. But I was late starting stream this evening because there was so much amazing news coming out of Marvel. Including, believe it or not, my favorite thing that they apparently talked about. And I don't know what they said yet. I only saw the image I put in Discord. But apparently they've confirmed that the Frasier Revival series is coming. And I'm so excited for that one. Like, excited beyond all reason, really. I, I really can't wait to see that. The She-Hulk series just feels like a parody of itself somehow. Well, hopefully it actually is, because I think that would be really fun. Okay, I think that's either all problems solved, or at the very least, all problems well on their way to being solved. We've got our new area set up. I have at least...
why do you what okay I think I was in the process of setting this up when all that crap hit the fan there uh, so we've got boba this is you know orange green and yellow so that's perfect perfect recipe for ginger beer so we're gonna go a nice aquarium a nice infotainment booth and actually that looks like that might be all we need Well, at that end, I guess I need to smooth out the terrain a little bit. Okay, why are we out of frickin' bracken power? What the heck? Unused power, 16. So what the heck is... Oh, I bet they were doing... Okay, so probably maintenance on the broken repeaters. That was just momentary outages. That's fine. The news about Daredevil. Yeah, I haven't actually seen any of the news. I've only seen a few tweets and images, and that's literally it. I know... I did see the tweet about the new, you know, complete... Marvel Phase 5 lineup. I haven't actually watched the original Daredevil show. I saw maybe two or three episodes of it. So I need to see that. And it's kind of exciting. Honestly, though, they're starting to lose me because a lot of the new stuff that they're announcing that's coming in Phase 5 is all stuff I've never heard of. And so my interest level is a little bit low and you combine that with the marvel fatigue that i've got growing and i think i might just be very selective about what i watch in the next phase although some of the stuff like the marvels looks like it's going to be amazing just based purely on the fact that it's kamala and captain marvel together is going to be really cool There was also something, I don't know whether it's a movie or a show. I'm kind of assuming it's going to be a show. But there's an Agatha thing that was part of the lineup. I'm very interested in that one. I need to know more. Okay, now, right now I'm just kind of in a bit of a holding pattern. I need to get my cash reserves up to the point where I can incubate these freaking Carnotars. What's it going to cost? I need two and a half million. So I'm actually going to just uh, pump the speed of the park up a bit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yay. Infected food source. That's great. How do I deal with that? There we go. No sources of salmonella. You don't want to be around a T-Rex suffering from salmonella poisoning. I liked Captain Marvel. I know a good number didn't. I really enjoyed Captain Marvel. And I really liked Ms. Marvel. And seeing the two of them together, especially with the... You know, I, I, I'm not going to say anything specific... Maybe I just won't say anything at all. I, I'm going to leave it at, I can't wait to see them together. Okay, we're up over a million again. That's a good thing. Ms. Marvel is the only bit of MCU lately that you've been interested in. 
It's a good one to be interested in. That was such a well done show. I loved it. Loved every bit of it. A bit excited for the animated shows. I didn't know they were doing animated shows. What ones are they doing? 1.5. Excellent. Maybe I can do some inexpensive research while we wait. Maybe some genetic stuff. Oh my god. Holy crap, you guys need a break. That's all I need. Scientists going rogue on me and sabotaging the park. That would ruin us. Oh, it looks like we've got room for more scientists as well. Let's check our current roster. I would really, really like someone who's fast at expeditions and no such luck. Damn it. Okay. I'll check again soon. They're revamping and continuing with the same style X-Men of 97. Oh, nice, Nubby. Nice. Which is one of your favorites along with Evolution. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? Here's where I confess that I have never seen an animated X-Men show. And I think I've read maybe one or two individual issues of an X-Men comic. Most of my X-Men knowledge comes from the movies. Timberborn? No, not tonight, Mr. Soggy Roman. Not tonight. Was just glued to TV when it was out as a kid. Nice. Oh, oh, almost, almost 2.1. Now, I don't think I will actually, you know, the instant we get to 2.4, I'm not going to go incubate them because obviously it can be helpful to have a little bit of a cash reserve. So I might wait for 3.4. Just so that I'm not completely emptying the bank. You got a rough couple of weeks ahead of you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully they go quickly at least. Salsa Boy's dad did not die? What the heck? I think I missed a story there. I was debating on whether to ask about Salsa Boy, but not about his dad. I think I, I don't think I don't think I heard a bit about that. When I think of evolution, I think of Rogan Kitty. Two point nine three. Okay, so three point four will hit there pretty shortly. Character designer for Evolution was one of my inspirations for drawing more stylized stuff back in the day. Oh, nice, Nubby. 3.2. He 
He went off because his dad died. He does have a couple of months to live, granted. Yeesh. Feeder needs... What? Do I have to do that manually? you got to be kidding me. Provides shark meat to marine reptiles to satisfy their comfort and hunger. Food is dispensed when needed. Empty feeders must be resupplied by ranger teams. Well, why are you bugging me about it then? Get a ranger team to do it. Maybe I should have another ranger team out here. I know I need another MVU. Um, oh, we're at 3.6. Let's get these Carnotaurs dealt with. Genetically fixes mutants to make their powers better. Interesting, Mr. Soggy Roman. Salsa and Head Chef are both taking vacations. Ooh, man. Uh, MVU. Status under repair. What the heck? I think I do need another one. Okay, well, we've got a bit of cash. Yeah, we can do it. Actually, I'll put this further back and do a path out to it. Then I can still use that space. That's the MVU. Need another response facility. I will say I rewatched that one too much as a kid and I got good memory for that kind of thing, but I get it, people not remembering.
can't oh oh that's the problem maybe putting that right by the hotel was not a great idea after all that's why it was bugging me okay fair enough Ten to twenty years less experience on this planet than most of the regulars here. Fair. That's fair. Asset transportation underway. Okay, how's the Carnotaur release going? Transportation underway. I'm gonna watch Waterworld for the first time soon? Nice, Nubby. I need to watch that at some point, too. I've never seen it. Do we not have an MVU? Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. I built two response units. Honestly, it's hard to have too many response units, though. I'm going to leave that one. But it means we do need a paleomedical facility. And we're not fitting it in there, so I'm going to put it in over this way. That is true. Or, well, actually, I can't swear to that, Aranar. I can't swear to it. I don't remember the first time I saw Star Wars because I was too young and so was it. But I don't know whether Empire was actually out yet or not. Oh, man, they've got some nice colors. I like the green on this guy. Missing sand? You don't have enough sand? I gave you lots of sand. What are you complaining about? There, that's better. How can you be so stingy on sand? I'm sorry, what was I thinking? <laughs> they want to play ball and you need a lot of sand for the infield, that's fair. Oh man, look at this purple guy. Oh, that's amazing.
picking up patrols. There we go. Have you taken us? Oh my god. How? It's after 3 o'clock. I don't think I've taken a second break yet. I'm pretty sure I have not. <laughs> no worries, hate Mr. Soggy Ramen. Eight hundred fifty-two, very nice. So I think this means, uh, in addition to improving our Mosasaur genome, which we should do at some point, uh, we are getting some decent money again. I need to send out some expeditions and get some Struthia Mimus, I think. Where would I get that? Actually, let's check and make sure I don't already have that one. Although, I don't believe that I do. I've got Carnotaurus, Edmontonosaurus. I could use Edmontonosaurus, I suppose. Compi and Apatosaurus. So, no Struthiomimus. I could use Gallimimus. Sinoceratops. Olerotitan. Do need to get my youngest RS at some point. Do I need to research them? What the heck? I thought they were usually pretty easy to get hold of. Medium and large herbivores. Yeah, there's no way that it's not covered by those. Small herbivores. Gallimimus. Pachycephalosaurus. Hmm. Practically, oh, I... I've never seen the show, but I have an animated X-Men theme in my head, and it's probably that one, if it's that common. I think I know the one you're talking about. There's Mosasaurus here in North America. I had no idea. Hmm. Well, I guess I might as well do some research because I don't seem to be able to get the genome any other way. Maybe it's just one of the medium to large herbivores that's not listed. Can't hurt to try. High Electronica rock version of that theme for the new show since it's a sequel. <laughs> I guess we'll find out what you get.
You too. My God. Aaron Lor, you've got to stop reading people's minds like that. You're on a sync level with everyone. Sauropods 3. Research is done. Let's check out our expedition options. Follow a Titan. Ah, Velociraptor. So weird. Why can I not have? Ugh, I don't know. Okay. The style was very nice back then. The frames of the animation, not so much due to budget. Yeah. All right, guys. I am going to take a break. Because apparently I have been an absolute disaster when it comes to my breaks tonight. So if you will bear with me, my breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes long. I'm going to go grab something to eat if you need to do so yourself or grab a drink get a snack use the facilities whatever you need to do this is a really good time to do it i'll meet you back here when i return so i'll see you then okay what do i have to do with this oh i think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing First, <laughs> you'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smilgoth. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. God, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. What was that? Super fun. Uh. Oh, hello. That's not going to fight the dragon. Yeah. 
and down you go. Steel helmet of minor alteration. Happy New Year, Dragon. <laughs> I love that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. God damn it. How did I... Oh. Oh my god. Oh shh. Oh. Oh my god. God, these things are so terrifying, and now I'm locked into a cage match. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? Uh oh. Uh oh, that is. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. You will be safe there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Your move. Oh my And this is exactly <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. <laughs> Hey, our headless friend is back again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. But you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for your medal acceptance speech, kid. Oh my god, the timing. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Thank you. Library of Law, a new viewer has just followed the channel. Held, please prepare a comfy seat for our guest. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate that. Thank you, JH. Right, where did we leave off? We were trying to recover a bit of money. We just got one of these guys.
and we just released some Carnotaurus. And I was trying to find Struthia Mimus, but for some reason, they don't seem to be available in this scenario, which is weird. So maybe I'll have to look up one of the other smaller herbivores that are easily consumed by hungry carnivores. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Roman. Right, okay, so we have a task to incubate and release the following dinosaurs. We need four raptors, but we don't actually have the genome for that yet. We did notice that I have the ability to get the genome now, though. So that's a thing we can do. Where are we going to put a raptor enclosure? I'm thinking maybe somewhere back here. Or over here. Might have to move these things. Although I could just branch off over this way and do it. That would also work. For a really big enclosure, this has really amazing visibility. That's really good. Okay, so, oh, uh-oh, what happened? He, he died right on the track. Oh, died of old age. Ankylosaurus. Oh my god, I can't talk. Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Oh man, they are getting past their expected lifespan. Can, I can't even make more of these guys, unfortunately. And that could be bad news. I don't know what's going to happen when these guys get lonely again. Hmm. Could be the Pachycephalosaurus all over again. What's the minimum population on these guys? They're still content for now. Uh, looks like they're okay alone, so we shouldn't have the same kind of trouble with them. N. Kilo Rensaurus. Excellent. Okay. Ankylosaurus. Right. This guy's coloring is so striking. Look at that. Asset transportation in progress. Okay, we want a fairly largish herbivore. Parasaurolophus will probably do, or Gallomimus, either or. I could put some of them in here, too. I mean, uh, obviously as potential Rex Chow, but also there's so much space, some of them might actually be able to survive for a while.
Well, look at this. We're almost at four stars. Just a tiny bit off. Restroom coverage, 85%. Shelter coverage, 90 Where do we need a restroom? Anyone see the series Steven Universe? Cannot say that I have. I've heard of it, though. I've never seen it. Oh, crap. Let me guess. That's another one? Yep. They really enjoy dying right in the middle of the track, don't they? It's a good thing we've got that on the tour. thing. Wait, what? Oh, I can just move it, I guess. It's probably too far from this one. Yeah, a little bit. There we are. They really want one right here, don't they? Not well, too bad you're not getting one. Ninety seven percent shelter coverage, eighty seven. We can do better than eighty seven. Need to help the species evolve. We are, actually. The ones that get eaten despite the availability of shelters are the ones that we want rid of. those done and let's maybe get another expedition out that sounds like it's some pretty good stuff Mr. Soggy Ramen might have to check that out
Your lunch was quite yummy. What did you have? Need to make some food? You're hungry? I think I'm good for a while, which is probably just as well, because I'm not going to be eating a whole lot until about 7 o'clock tomorrow. Fish sticks and new potatoes with white sauce that had egg bits in it. Uh, well, you had me until the egg bits. And, well, I mean, okay. You regained me after the fish sticks. The new potatoes and white sauce sounded really good. Egg bits? That's where you kind of lose me on that. Oh, right, we're already... Already doing stuff. Ah, fossil extraction complete. Excellent. I guess we could work on the Velociraptor. I should also check the hiring pool. Let's see if there's anybody who's fast at expeditions available. Cheaper incubation might not be bad. Might have to hire Thana there. We've got, wow, we've got three of them. And they're all at least reasonable at welfare. Nobody who's fast at expeditions. So she's a good all-arounder. This guy, he's lacking a little more in logistics. Like, we're definitely going to get her. Incubation is welfare, I believe. So let's make that her priority. Tartar sauce? I don't normally associate tartar sauce with eggs, but then I don't really eat anything that needs tartar sauce. You know, I could put a detour in. Have this go through the uh, enclosure over here. That might be fun. New complete genome Gallimimus. Nice. Okay. Let's evaluate Gallimimus as our potential feeding dinosaur. Five modifications unlocked. They come in batches of six to ten. Incubation cost per egg of 60,000. That's a little pricey, but it's not too bad. How does it compare to Edmonton Saras? Oh, 
they're much cheaper than Edmonton Osaurus. Okay. I'm not even going to modify the genome just yet. We're going to just make a bunch and then we're going to put them in with... Oh god, all these guys need a break. There. And we'll put them in with somebody. And before that even finishes, I'm just going to get a bunch of people resting. Oh. <laughs> Actively working can't rest. Half a million? That's a lot, but I can probably do it. Actually, I'll put this group in with the T-Rex. They'll last longer and contribute to the appeal of the park a bit more. Expedition complete. Alright, Rex. Lunch to pick up the asset. is served. To collect the asset. asset requiring collection. Adding task. Confirming task. Now watch it be like San Diego and they'll just live happy lives coexisting alongside the T-Rex with no problem. I would actually be quite okay with that. I would find it weird, as I did in San Diego, but I'd still be okay with it. New viable genome, Velociraptor. Now, since we do have T-Rex sites available as well, we should work on getting the genome for those once I've got more of a cash reserve. Those sites, they're like the Mosasaur sites. They're very expensive.
Transportation complete. Asset in transit. I just served you lunch and you're eating here? Unheckin' believable. Delivery has been completed. Transit has con the gyroscopic technology will keep you upright at all times, so you've got nothing to worry about. Despite its minute size, Humpsignathus is an accomplished predator. More commonly known as the Compi, this nimble little carnivore is one of, if not the, fastest bipedal dinosaurs to have ever existed. Actually, the balls work pretty well, Aaron Lar. Which is not to say something terrible didn't happen involving them, but uh, they were. Its long, legs to cover a lot of with each stride. That's what I was hoping for. There we go. Yeah. Um, They were actually quite capable of keeping the riders safe in spite of all the dinosaur chaos around them. Only one dinosaur was able to actually bite through the thing, and even then it it was more of a, you know, the teeth punctured through the glass, not it was able to crush and eat everyone inside. The people who were in it actually survived. I'm imagining some big dino realizing they could charge it and play soccer. You're not entirely wrong. Although it was less soccer and more... Oh, crap. There was kind of a stampede of what was... Oh, no! Oh, Rexy... So much for my plan to feed Gallimimus to the Rex. Uh, it was the Ankylosauruses. They, uh, they, they were actually being attacked by Indominus Rex, and they were bashing the hell out of one of the gyrospheres with their tails and sending it careening off every which way. And eventually it was Indominus Rex that attempted to eat the ball, and it failed, but it did a lot more damage to the ball than pretty much anything else was capable of doing. Well, that kind of settles it then. We really have to start visiting the T-Rex sites. We have to replace Rexy. We can't have a park without a T-Rex. That's just not cool. That also means I think I need to make some more Gallimimus. But 
but we're going to put them in with the Carnotaurs. This time we're going to modify the genome just a little bit. I'm not going to alter their traits at all, but we are going to make them multicolored. Cortez, you could use a rest. Actually, you're not the only one. You guys have got a bit of time left on you, but rest isn't going to hurt. Wow, that's so unfortunate. That's like the king of the park, or I guess queen of the park is dead. Yeah, it was one of these guys. Or a, a bunch of these guys, actually. They were almost like they were they were kind of running around in a panic. And one of these gyrospheres was basically right there. And the tail was swinging. And it would hit the ball and send it off. And another one would hit it. And it would go all over the place. And it was a whole thing. Man, I just watched it, and now you're kind of making me want to watch Jurassic World again. Exactly, Aranor, yes. And that, the Thagomizer, is pretty much one of my favorite stories in all of, uh, you know... Paleoanthropology, or any related subject. I love everything about that story and how that term came to be. For those of you not aware, the Thagomizer is a part of, like, it's the spiky part of a dinosaur's tail. And some comics writer, I, I, it was a famous guy, I don't remember offhand who it was, but he wrote a comic about it, and just, like, it, the, there was no term for this thing, for the spiky part of a dinosaur's tail. And so he came up with the term Thagomizer, named for, uh, you know, the researcher who had discovered its function by being impaled on it because this is one of those comics where people and dinosaurs coexisted he was a guy named thag oh it was it was fair far side i knew okay thank you yes don't listen to me talk about it go read it it's hilarious and beautiful and the short of it is the term was coined in a comic a brilliant comic as far side tends to be because gary larson is amazing and because there was no actual term, the scientific community just adopted that as the actual real term. The temperatures of the yes, you have to read, Mr. Soggy Roman. I know it's a pain, but you just open your eyes and you use it for things, you know? Request received. Request acknowledged. Setting additional task. Okay, now I never did actually check on the welfare of the Gallimimus in here, which is now something of a problem because I have no big carnivore in here to eat them all, which means I have to actually care for them. Luckily, it looks like they just need some ground leaf and they'll be happy.
If only eyes could do that by themselves, but I hear that involves your brain too. You wait for the Netflix adaptation. You laugh, but that's maybe more possible than you might think. Asset has been collected. Sadly, I've heard no news of such a thing, but man, a far side animated series or movie would be amazing. Can you believe that cartoon is not even doing the research and calling it a Thagomizer instead of... Huh. Well, I guess it's the Thagomizer now. Yep, pretty much. Asset transportation in progress. Uh, Carnotars are such jerks sometimes. I mean, it's in their name. Card, no. You have a point. You fell asleep for a bit, Sarah. It's so good to see you. How are you doing again? Uh, it's going well, Sarah. Let me show you what we've been up to. We've got Carnotaurus now. Including this gorgeously colored fellow. <laughs> Here. I'll get some ground leaf in this place too. If they're going to be eaten, they might at least have food of their own. I couldn't help it. Your voice is soothing and lulled me to sleep. You're too kind, Sarah. You're way too kind. The land of the suffering, I mean the land of the waking. Uh, easy mistake. So, we also did this. We've got a lagoon now. And it is occupied somewhere. There he is. I wonder how closely related these guys are to crocodiles and alligators. They look like they probably should be related. Um, I actually, I don't know, Sarah. I could probably put more in. I mean, I certainly made it large enough. At the time, I was just concerned about opening the place and having an attraction, so I put the one in and then I stopped worrying about it. I think I could put more than one in. I might even be able to put other species in as long as they're not completely incompatible. Oh, they want forest too. Okay, well, I can do a little bit of that. There we go. Commencing asset transit. Asset has been delivered. Yeah, they call them marine reptiles for a reason, Mr. Soggy Raman. They are not whales. Not that species. There were whale relatives back then, too. I don't know if they lived in the water at the time. Whales are one of those ones that uh, they lived on land for a while, then they returned to the ocean. Transporting asset. Asset delivered. 
I was trying to watch the new Resident Evil on Netflix and I was cheering so hard for those zombies. Those main characters are so bad I actually rooted for the zombies. You're making me want to check that out, Mad. I might have to look at that. Whales are related to bats. I'd forgotten that. That's true. Your park rating and profit has dropped. Honestly, if it only dropped 6%, I'm kind of happy. Oh god, now we're losing the Triceratops as well. All of the dinos that we brought in from the outside are going. That's not good. Okay, the Gallimimus are content, which is probably not going to last very long when the Carnos realize they're hungry. Mosasaurus are not even dinosaurs being reptiles, yeah. Yeah, sadly, Sarah, we lost our T-Rex. Died of old age. On the plus side, I've already unlocked the ability to go get more T-Rex DNA, so... It's expensive, but I can do it. Oh, Triceratops as well. We can do that. Triceratops, wow. Asset in transit. Asset transported. Try Cop. I actually really like that. Carnotaurus 2 has begun to hunt down Gallimimus 23. This could result in injury or death. You can run, but you can't hide. They're squamates like lizards and snakes, so imagine a gigantic swimming monitor lizard or gecko. That's actually really interesting. I had no idea about that one. Has been completed. We hadn't even delivered all of the Gallimimus into the enclosure before one was hunted and killed.
You know, I can actually kind of see the snake thing. Where's the other one? There you are. Ah, Hell Creek Expedition complete. looking for. Oh, what's the status of our work on the Velociraptors? What do we got here? Okay, they are viable, but they're only 53%. We can do a lot better than that. Worth a watch later on? Okay. New viable genome, T-Rex. Let's have a look at them. Oh, we can... Yes! We're not limited to Jurassic Park colors and stuff. We can do colorful, patterned T-Rex. Amazing. I can't do it now because they're expensive, but in theory... Once I've got money again. Whatever colors I've got available, Nabby. You know, in much the same way that I've got colorful Carnotaurus. We've got this guy. It's very red-brown. Orangey color. We've got this one who's very green. And where's the other one? My particular favorite of this group. Oh, yeah. Very purple. Green and purple, actually. So, this is basically Joker.
you can actually, Sarah. During the Prime Day sales, my mom got a Roomba, and while going over some of the info, she mentioned how it's made to be programmable. She looked at me and said, you'd probably make it chase after people. <laughs> I said I'd attach a knife and call it Stabby, so I have now sent her the Earth is Space Australia story about Stabby. Oh my god, Aranar. Yes, the Mosasaurus is named Moses. So far, no parting of the waters, though. Wow. It just rammed into the Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. If you make another, name it Noah. I could. Or Moby. Actually, I didn't even think about that. Did I modify the Mosasaurus genome? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, there's a channel points thing you can do that'll get me to name stuff if it's available in the game. Jonah? Yep. <laughs> oh my god, I keep forgetting about that. Boberta the Bard. It's a good thing this is not a play until I'm complete playthrough. Though I will say, I really had a much better time than I kind of expected. I mean, I expected I would enjoy Baldur's Gate 3. I always do. I didn't expect I was going to enjoy it that much. Look at how blue this guy is. He's so dark blue. Wow. Yukon River with a blank pattern. Huh. Ongoing joke about naming everything Bob the Mighty, so Bob to Bob Berta, yes. Roberta could work too. <laughs> okay, Sarah, whatever you want. I considered Roberta, but felt it was too subtle. That's fair. See how far we get with the raptors.
I've had a bad allergy day today. Sinuses are all kinds of crap, and then there's the coming week. Uh, I hope you feel better quickly. I know allergies are a real bitch. I've had them for most of my life. Last few years haven't been too, too terrible. Yeah, you had mentioned that earlier, Greeny. Is he aware of just how thin the icy zone is? I don't have a Stegosaurus, unfortunately. And I would kind of recommend against renaming the Triceratops because they are starting to die of old age. All the ones I have left are most likely beyond their expected lifespan already. You sound like you should try my third favorite cocktail. I drink it when cooking often. It's called roughly eight ounces of straight vodka. Straight Jameson. That works. Don't want to die so soon? Yeah. The youngest dinosaurs that we've got right now are the Gallimimus. But they are actually intended as food for other dinos at the moment, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend those either. Maybe hang on to your right to name something until I've got something worth naming. That would probably be my recommendation. Like, perhaps, Velociraptors, as an example. Uh, we're up to 89%. That's a reasonable amount. Now, I think I've already randomized these guys, haven't I? Near research required, tolerant, intolerant. Let's get cross species adaptation done. Messed around with March type, or merch type things, and you made pet bandanas? That's awesome. Lego my Lego my Stego, I like that, Sarah. When we were working on the original Jurassic Park from the first movie, we had a redemption to name the T Rex in that park. Uh I believe it was Sexy Rexy. No, I'm still working on those. I've got most of their genome now, and I'm doing some research so that I can improve the fitness of them once we get them. But let me see if I can go grab the rest of their genome. Gift. <laughs> That's a good one, Sarah. I like that. Cross species adaptation. Excellent. Oh, we can do the colors and stuff on the raptors too. I love it. Okay. So we will have fancy, colorful raptors this time, which is going to be amazing. Only 
trouble is, where am I going to put them? Probably a bad idea to put those ones in with the Carnotaurus. Either the Carnotaurus or the Raptors are going to have a real bad time if I do that. I think. I assume. Actually, let's check. Shared with Gallimimus, they're kind of neutral. They like Compies, Albertosaurus, and Myungasaurus. They do not like other carnivores, and Therinsinosaurus. Dysfunction. Wow, Sarah. It would just be a bandana with leaf falling across it. That's cool. Also, a mason jar and an insulated water thing. Nice. Okay, we'll see how this works. Now, how are these guys doing? They're still content, if somewhat panicky. Now, do I have any patterns? Ah, yes. We'll get some genetic patterns unlocked that we can potentially have appear on new dinosaurs that we make. It's become a fun little game to name my pets in Star Wars. I'll have a little bird named Meryl Tweet. <laughs> nice. Pattern genes 2, two items unlocked. New complete genome, Velociraptor. Drought tolerance. Oh, Star Wars Galaxies. Uh-oh. Oh, of course it would happen now. My cash reserves are low. Attention all personnel. Please proceed to cover and remain there until the tornado subsides. On the plus side, it can't possibly open up the T-Rex area this time. It'll probably hit the Carnotaurus area.
No, it's going after my infrastructure. Great. Don't mind the tornado, just get some rest. It'll be fine. Might have said something about a tornado, Sarah. Maybe. Little one. We seem to have an escapee. I think. Did it duck back inside? What the heck? I could have sworn there was a dinosaur that ran outside. Huh. It would show me. Oh, there he is. There he is. Where'd the jeep go? I can't afford to fix the fencing. Good. going to have to get all of my available helicopters to tranquilize all of the dinosaurs in that pen so they don't escape.
Oh, and now this gate is open to crap. Well, let's let people out. There's no danger, right? It'll be fine. We are actually losing money really, really badly. This might be a... I don't know if we can turn this around quickly enough. I could maybe... Oh my god, that's only gonna bring in 140k. Very well might be, Aaron Laura. I think this is it for the park. We're losing money too quickly, and with all these problems going on actively right now, I don't think we're going to start bringing cash back in again. Guest comfort low. Safety rating, yeah. Um. Asset being transported. Transportation underway. Commencing asset transit. I think that might be it. Asset. I think that might be well and truly it. Well, it was a good attempt. I think I did a lot of things right in this first attempt at Jurassic World. They're seriously not kidding about the difficulty rating, though. Infected food source, great. Underway. I feel like spread out is key here, probably. Oh, it's not the first time, Sarah. You always have to watch out for, like, uh, I had the same or similar problems in uh, Jurassic Park San Diego as well. There would be, oddly enough, there would be sandstorms there. And uh, when that happened, it would completely tank my income. And if things were a little bit precarious... That could lead to some serious issues. Transporting asset. Asset 
transportation in progress. Owner came to me today, said I was his scratch guy. Scratch guy meaning I make all the things from scratch. Oh, that's cool, Greeny. Well, so things didn't go quite the way I planned. Yeah, that that I hope that does translate into more money. And possibly you know, that seems like that would be something that would be reasonable if they could possibly give you more money for that. Oh, it will not. Ugh. Well, I don't think I'm going to start another attempt tonight. We'll do that next time I play this. That was a lot of fun working on that, though. I think basically what I need to do is what ended up working with San Diego, and that's ensuring that I've got a really good, really, really, really good, really solid income base. So that when these things happen, I can weather them effectively. Because I was just, I was way too low on cash, and that just completely obliterated me. There was no way I could recover from that. I had to repair too much stuff to recover, and there was no way to repair it because I was so in the hole. So I was getting started there with the whole Gallimimus as feed dinosaurs, sort of pumping up the appeal of the park by making the dinosaurs infamous, but I started way too late. I need to get that going a lot earlier. Oh, I don't need to, Sarah. Uh, the scenario, it's really not that terribly long. I mean, we were 73% done, so... It's just a matter of trying again. I could try loading an earlier save, but this thing, like, I tend to only save once per scenario. I don't mind starting again and doing it because there were some layout things that I did that I'm not necessarily incredibly fond of anyway. I want to see just how this is supposed to tie into the MCU. November 3rd, 2023, Blade. Yeah, yeah, there's been a lot of talk about that one. We will just wait until I move on to an island. That sounds good. Just try to make sure it's not one of my Jurassic Park islands. I can't guarantee anything if you do that. All right. We've had a lot of raid love tonight, which I really appreciate. Thank you, everybody who is still here from the Ultra Raid and the Idol Raid and just all the chaos. Let's go on a bit of a raid of our own this evening. Let me pull up my list of amazing people. Tomorrow night is Retro Sunday, and I am very excited because we're going to be starting Space Quest 1, the Sarian Encounter. Just so you guys are well aware and prepared, uh, if any of you are not familiar with the Space Quest series, Space Quest 1 is very retro. It is early, it's like mid-1980s retro. Like The first one probably came out in 1985 or 1986, so... Uh, we're not exactly talking RTX enabled here. Next Saturday, should I come back to name a dino? Uh, that's an interesting question, Sarah. Next Saturday will be our next uh, strategy Saturday night. I don't know what I'm going to be playing. There is a pretty decent chance that it will be this game because it's one of the more... You know, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's really, and people seem to be really enjoying it too. I have been kind of wanting to get back into doing City Skylines a bit, though. I did pick up the Airports DLC for that one, and I haven't actually had a chance to try it yet. 
but uh, you know, it's not going to be long before we're playing this again, no matter what we end up doing. Maybe I'll do one week on, one week off between this and cities or something. But you should definitely come back Saturday. And if we're playing this, then I, I will definitely let you name a dino. Yeah, the Fantastic Four was hinted at very strongly in the new Doctor Strange movie, Aaron Thor. They had Mr. Fantastic in that one. Uh, what's his name from The Office was in it, playing Mr. Fantastic. They also had Captain Pike, which was pretty cool. All right, so it looks like Hodon Kane is on, and he's playing Warframe. Laxative Legacy is playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Slappy Jack is playing Fall Guys. Then we've got a lot of people that I don't necessarily know. Oh, Tea with Mandy is doing her three-year Twitch partner anniversary stream. That's kind of exciting. What if Julia's playing House Flipper? And that's about it for this evening. So let me go over that, that again real fast. We had Hodon Kane with Warframe, Lax with Gears of War, Slappy Jack with Fall Guys, then I think we skip all the way to the top. Tea with Mandy with just chatting with her three-year Twitch partner anniversary. And what if Julio with House Flipper? So if any of that sounds good, if you have a preference with regards to the streamer or the game that we end up going to, let me know in chat. Otherwise, I'll just go with my own discretion. Uh, just be aware that if you do make a recommendation, it is only a recommendation. It will not dictate where we go, though it will certainly influence where we go. Stream anniversary. All right, we can do that. Tea with Mandy is lovely. She is the team leader for Team Stay Cozy, one of the stream teams that I am a part of. So let's load up her channel. Uh, she is actually on a break right now. That's okay, though, because it's going to take a couple minutes to get over there. Her breaks usually aren't that long. So let me get you. Oh, uh, actually, let me get out of the game. There we go. We will pick that up next time. All right, so we're going to go visit Tea with Mandy. In the meantime, let's go raid Tea with Mandy. Ah, it actually gave the correct link this time instead of giving you mine. Thank you for being here, Sarah. Sorry for uh, making you fall asleep there. I apologize. Oh, it's a good thing we didn't go with Slappy Jack. He just raided Mandy, too. So she's going to come back and uh, Mo's on the case. Mo is there, so Mandy will be aware that people are coming in. So this is probably a really good time to raid. She'll be rushing to get back because of Jack's raid. Yep. All right. So we're going to go raid Mandy. Here is the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if there are emotes from other streamers that you'd like to use, or if there are other Twitch emotes you want to use, just make sure you copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It will all be good in my book. So let's get over to Mandy's channel, uh, see how she's doing with her partner anniversary. And I will meet you over there, and I'll be back here tomorrow night for some Space Quest true retro action i'm really looking forward to it it's a very short game there's a very good possibility we could finish it tomorrow night uh if we don't um then we'll just carry on next saturday and if we do maybe we'll go on with space quest 2 who knows but uh you know regardless it's going to be a really good time so i can't wait for that one have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and i'll catch you again real soon uh so yeah bye for now That 
it's some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> That is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. Wow. Am I being attacked by chickens? Crap, he has a bad motivator. Ready? Happy New Year! There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. The stories say he sought to claim. Is someone there? <laughs> What the hell? Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by...